For any Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 by link in the description down below. Use code Zader at checkout for 8% off if you're new, 5% off if you are returning. Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of the RTG. Today we are talking about some custom tactics, formation, new team, kind of, not really, and then we also have some foot champs live at the end. It's a very long one today. As always guys, if you guys want to watch these games live, you guys can check me out on Twitch, link down below in the description. We're live almost every single foot champs weekend, so you guys can come hang out if you do want to, and we're about to hit a thousand followers on there. Please keep showing love by dropping like sub subbing whatever comments all that good stuff man it helps the algorithm that helps me know that you guys want to see more videos like these this is why i just want to see how many people leave a like because it means you guys want to keep seeing these every single weekend all right so we're going to transition over here and this is how the squad started before this weekend league this is what i played division rivals with and this is what i was going to start with in a 451 i picked up yuri bershish i know it's yuri bershish but i like calling him yuri bershish 95,000 coins is what i paid for him i'm probably going to sell him i used him and you guys are going to see in the gameplay in the first couple games he kind of he just he, he's not that guy he's decent but he's not great and same thing with Ter Stegen man Ter Stegen makes okay saves but he's just an average goalkeeper he doesn't really have those moments where I'm like yes I had Ter Stegen so for those exact reasons I switch back to this which is the exact same team from last week in a 4-3-1 to I had to bring back Kyle Walker I brought back Pope I know I can put flashback Joe Hart but I've heard kind of negative things about him so I'd rather just keep Pope just in case because I know he saves me Kyle Walker really kind of not my favorite especially how he feels on the ball with that agility and balance he sometimes loses it but he gets the job done and then sometimes i can sub on and babu who i did pack if you guys didn't know on my rtg through the 84 plus player pick who i can sub on if i need to at center back at right back really anywhere that's kind of more defensive so there's really not much for me to say about this team it kind of just plays the same but i'm going to be talking about everything that's kind of going on with this team and the formation that i'm playing during the game but for me man these tactics this formation for me has changed everything and elevated my gameplay so so much especially last weekend that i finished with 22 wins so we start off with defensive style you just go on balanced with i have it almost all the way to max i have it at eight because my wingers really really come into play here and my depth is right in the middle it's at five now my width is so high because i said i really play with my wingers i play right mid i either play etto or i play joao felix because that's kind of all i can play but i would play someone more pacey someone that can kind of defend as well someone that can cross and if you guys don't already know man cucurella can literally do everything man the guy has the pace he has the dribbling he feels good on the ball he can has the physical stats he has the stamina he has the crossing it he is my perfect left midfielder now for offense offensive style i play on possession because i like playing a little bit more slow i ha i like having that control i like uh being able to pass it back to my dms i like passing it to my right mid left mid i like passing it with my strikers and, and kind of playing slow and dictating the pace now i keep my width all the way up to seven players in box is four and the only reason is because the only players i need in the box are my two strikers apart from that pretty much no one can score headers apart from my two strikers corners i have it on two because it's basically the same thing and i never score on corners even though i have probably the best jumper header guy in the entire game i still can't score corners and then free kicks it doesn't really matter because most of them they're on target and it just goes out for a corner but i have it on two because i just don't want to get countered so for the instructions you can really do whatever you want i just kind of mess around with them and this is kind of what has worked for me so on cristiano ronaldo or sorry on ronaldo r9 i have him on stay central get him behind and stay forward because he kind of just feels better on the ball and he has the five star five star so he's kind of cr7 is on balance with mixed attack and basic defense support now this ray mid one's kind of weird man i have him on comeback on defense and stay wide you can really kind of do whatever you want with it if you want him to just kind of attack a little bit more you can put him on basic defensive port and like free roam stay wide whatever but i would just put it on balance and maybe come back on defense maybe on basic defensive support it really is up to you left midfield man cucurella man if you haven't done him this is your cue man you have to go do him put him on comeback on defense keep everything the same he's gonna do the job for you make sure you use him control him run back with him and defend with him because he has the stamina to go all game long he will go up and down the pitch the whole entire game man trust me trust me defend with him attack with him he can do it all now this is where it gets interesting this is where my tactics are a little bit different from other people's your left cdm i have renato sanchez i have him on cut pass in lanes i have him on drop between defenders and cover center this really depends on your work rates renato sanchez is high high so he kind of really doesn't really defend too much but doesn't attack too much he's kind of in that weird position especially because i played him on stay back while attacking come back on defenders or drop between defenders makes it so he's really really back and all i have to do is select him and bring him up to the center defensive midfield spot from between center racks so it kind of just works better so bruno is that kind of deep lying cdm that i have deep line midfielder that i have that kind of just can pass the ball always is reliable he has on cover center cut pass lanes balance attack
attack. For Renato, by the way, one thing you can do is you can put him on cover wing. I find is really helpful, but I'd rather have him on cover center just because he's he, these two are so box to box that I need one of them to really stay back, and that's Renato for me. Bruno's kind of like that guy that connects the, the defensive players to the attack. For Lenmen, you have him on stay back and basically everything the same. And I have Adama on stay back and overlap. And then also make sure you have go your goalkeeper on cones for crosses and sweeper keeper because this will save you a couple times. That's the formation I play for most of the games. Sometimes I switch to a 3-5-2, which is very helpful. Sometimes I switch to a 4-2-3-1 if I want to be really defensive. And then 4-1-2-1-2 narrow if I just am feeling different. All right, but that is my team. Those are my tactics for this weekend league for the last couple weekends that I've been trying to perfect, but we're going to go into the gameplay. We have a lot of gameplay to go through and we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go into the gameplay and how I said, man, we have a lot of gameplay to go through today. If you guys um, are new here, first of all, I am up there. That is my live reaction. And then I'm here down here with the post commentary. Now for this uh, run this RTG episode. I do not have any record on the top right Just because I wasn't able to track it There were like some different instances where I was playing sometimes I forgot to record sometimes and all this stuff So there were many too many weird things that was going on So I, I just straight up I was like, you know what it doesn't really matter this first game I played last night on Friday night. I played one game and I went to sleep I went to sleep at around 11 and I got into this game and I was like, okay, I need to win this. It's my first game. And I wasn't even going to show you guys this because this is honestly embarrassing, especially like you look at my cousin tactics and formation video and you're like, wow, okay, this guy should be good. These are good. Like, let me try these out. And then you see me lose my first game three, two an extra time. So that was very unfortunate, but we do manage to turn it around kind of as we go. So how I said, I didn't play any games after that. Uh, these. All these games are from Saturday morning and then from stream as well, how I said, so you guys can come hang out if you guys do want to, which is the link down below. But uh, we kind of start bringing it back, we kind of start playing a little bit better, and we are kind of like in a spot where I'm still playing well, but I am struggling a little bit more than last week. I'm not being as dominant as I was, and I don't know what it is just yet. I still need to figure it out. I need to keep playing, uh, keep playing better and, and kind of figure out how I can kind of be myself again. Like I'm not holding a lot of possession. I'm, I'm throwing away a lot of chances. I'm not converting as many chances as I was last weekend. Uh, I'm not playing as well defensively. And I, I just feel like, man, my defense is really 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 like a big 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 um negative and big downside and, and just a, it, it's my achilles heel man like for me i feel like if i had a better defense i could go very very far and i've said this for a long time right like i said oh yeah give me a good attack or give me a good team and i'll be hitting elite and last week i almost hit it with a pretty poor defense like i have a defense that you could have literally had since what november so for me, man, a, a defense of Varon, Mendy, Walker, and Adama, I'm not saying it's a bad defense at all, but I'm saying like this defense is so outdated. Like I need an icon center back. I need something big in the defense next to Varon because especially icon center backs, and you guys are going to see in this game, I come up against icon center backs quite a couple times. They just make a huge difference, man. Connavaro, Ferdinand, um, I don't know who else, Blanc, Desai. All these guys, man, they're just so, so good. That Like the defensive awareness, the AI tackles that they make, uh, the physical stats, everything about them is just so good. And I just need that in my back line, man, because if my back line has that, we will be good. Like I have so many good fullbacks. I have so many good left backs, so many good right backs. And I know people play Kleber, like for example, Kleber uh, and Babu at center backs. For me, that just doesn't work. It's never really worked for me. I, I want someone that's elite, man. I don't want someone that's been upgraded from like a... 77 rated gold cards with like an 86 rated player I like Fofana Fofana's trash I want someone like Rio I want an icon I want a high-end player that can like lead me and, and like this is how bad I want one if I can have only one of R9 and CR7 I would obviously keep R9 I would give up CR7 and I would buy an elite center back. I would buy like team of the year Sergio Ramos instead if he was tradable or something. Because team of the year players are godlike. They will win you games single handedly. But I I think I got my point across that I just need a defender uh, to kind of wrap this team up. Because right now I'm really struggling with defense. And not only defense, but I'm, I'm struggling to break down other people's defenses themselves. Because what I have been preaching for so long is that manual tackling, controlling your center backs, all these things, these things make you concede goals these things 
are not good and they will hurt you many many times if you guys control your center backs you will concede so many goals and i last weekend did this very well i didn't concede many goals i used a lot of my cdms and all these things and it was great i played well this weekend i'm still trying to do the same thing but I, it's not going as well and then my opponents by the way i come up against one of my friends here like one of the guys that i play fifa with and talk to like almost every single day we just randomly matched up and this game man you will see the power of icon center backs i'm not saying oh he got carried by center backs i don't want to discredit him or anything like that but you will see the power of icon center backs man because these guys were crazy 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 good like they shut down my attack so many times but at the same time i completely dominated this game i had like 11 11 shots overall uh, over the 90 minutes and to be completely honest man i want to talk about this man the gameplay out of 10 i've had to rate the gameplay out of 10 on this game it was like a seven and a half seven and a half and it could have been a little better but i don't think it was really a deciding factor in the outcome so i i don't really want to use that as an excuse also one thing i've noticed that for me i don't know about you guys tell me how much you can relate to this but for me from 1 p.m until like 4 p.m the gameplay is the worst during the day this was this was not during those times this was in the morning this was like at 11 it doesn't really matter but i'm saying it like i've noticed an observation i've made from 1 p.m to 4 p.m it is the worst gameplay and then after four like i was playing on stream after four and the gameplay just magically gets better i don't know how i don't know what it is but this weekend after 4 p.m the gameplay went back to normal after feeling like garbage even in friendlies even in champs all these things that i was playing it felt bad but going back into this game, man, he had Hugo Sanchez. I kind of messed up my defense right here with Yuri, and then Yuri Barshish kind of gives up that goal. I stopped controlling him, and his AI didn't really pick up that run from Hugo Sanchez. So that really cost me, and this was one of the reasons why I got rid of Yuri, man, because he just wasn't being that guy that I needed him to be in my defense next to Varane. And that's what I'm saying, man. I need these icon center backs. I need these top end center backs because they could really help me get to the next level. I'm one nil down. I'm desperate here. I'm trying to get back into this game. I do everything I can, man. You guys seem to get so many chances in about 10 minutes. I don't know how I don't finish that. I don't know how CR7 doesn't chip him. I don't know how he doesn't finish it. I don't know how Nick Pope makes about like six saves in the last like 10 minutes of the in-game time it is the most ridiculous thing ever uh, but this was one of the reasons as well why i wanted to get rid of ter stegen and look at the game stats right there pause it and look at it i had complete domination of the game and i go from three and one to three and two probably one of the worst starts i've had all year and especially after last weekend this is not the start that we wanted to have so to me it was like okay reality check let me get back into this let me try and regroup and let me try and see if i can find my footing because right now i'm not playing to my best capacity and even though like i want to say oh these defenders really helped them get the win this goalkeeper really helped them get the win uh me missing chances oh look at my player do this if i was just a little bit better if i could play a little bit better if i was in a little bit better form i'd pick up these wins i'd pick up these wins and i wouldn't be saying that all these smaller micro things mattered so for me it's all about just getting better and i just I, I feel like the way to to get past that little hurdle instead of just trying to grind and grind and grind the game and trying to get better i feel like one of the best ways to kind of just take a little bit of a quicker step take a little shortcut to that next step is by by getting better players in your team and, and that's kind of what i want uh to do next so i don't know what direction this team is going to take uh because i tried yuri bershish and how i said man he is terrible um so i really need to figure out uh, a different way for this team i think i'm going to finish off the weekend league uh with kyle walker and with nick pope once again back into the team how i said man i put them back into the team uh so we're going to see how that goes i come into this guy's game we play against this guy in a four triple two and he is a pretty solid team right that's cool look at what he was doing this guy was doing triangle passes passing around the back from the beginning of the game over and over dude i literally got so fr i was losing full man I, I like laid back i put my controller down i wasn't even playing but this dude got so lucky after like four in game minutes of passing it around i tried to tackle him he gets a pen he gets a lucky pen and he goes one nil up and i'm like oh no and i'm like please don't continue doing this and he just continues doing it over and over and over and over and i'm like dude am i really just watching a guy pass it from side to side to side to side back to back to back over and over 
and it got to halftime and it was still the same thing. I was down one nil. This guy had like 70 something percent possession. He had 99 percent pass accuracy in one half. He had made 50 passes within Golo Conte, which is honestly unheard of. It's insane numbers. And after the half, I go one. I, I we go one all. So I tied the game with Cucurella, which was great. We go one one. He pauses it three times after I score. And then he leaves at 1-1, so neither of us gets the win, he gets the loss, and I go into the next game against this very, very good team. And to me, it was just odd. I had no idea what had happened. I don't know why he did that. It was pretty odd to me, but we move on and we keep it moving. I'm like, okay, man, I got to keep the ball rolling. I got to start winning games because right now I'm in a really bad position, man. I need to keep winning games. And if I want to be able to finish where I want to finish, I I have to step it up. I have to step it up. That's exactly what we did, man. Like a lot of these games that you see here, and I'm just noticing it right now, you're going to see me put six, seven, eight goals past people. And then in some other games, it's like that just completely goes away. And I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's other opponents. I don't know what it is, but I need to find that consistency where I'm consistently beating people with like four or five goals, like almost every single game, if not creating these chances that put me in positions to win these games four or five goals up. Uh, but overall, man, how I said, I want to talk a little bit about this formation. I know I talked a lot about it last la last um, last video, last weekend league from last weekend. And 4-4-2, man, for me, it's just the perfect balance. I create so, so many chances. My two strikers are just so unique to the point where I feel like for me, the 4-4-2 with R9 and CR7 up top, unless you have them, which it's very unlikely that you have both because they are just unattainable unless you spend a lot of money on this game, which I haven't. I just got lucky. I feel like having those two, you won't find many better partnerships unless you have someone like Mbappe and Neymar, which are great, but they don't give you the things that these two give you, man. They score so many headers, they create so many chances for each other, and they're just untouchable, especially R9. I feel like R9 is definitely the star of the show. Um, but yeah, this game that I'm playing, by the way, in the background that you guys see right now, this was on stream. And this is the type of gameplay that I, I, I hate, I struggle with, I despise, man. This gameplay was terrible and you see CR7 putting a shot wide for absolutely no reason. And that's because of the bad gameplay. That's because he takes a weird touch. That's because the angle where the game player decides to register shot is different. It's like, it's completely like boof. It's disgusting. This game that I was playing now, the lighting is different. So you can tell it's later in the day. I played two games after 4 p.m. my time, which is about midnight UK, which it doesn't really matter because my time matters with the, my region. So this was better gameplay. I went one nil or I went one nil up and then we go two nil up and then we go again with another breakthrough with R9 and we get a great finish and we go three nil up. So I'm like saying, man, my gameplay relies so, so much on this good gameplay. I just, I, I needed to go my way almost every single time, but kind of going back to the 442, one more thing I want to say, man, 442 is just super balanced for me. I use my left mid to defend a lot. I use my left CDM. Bruno is kind of like that, still that kind of weird guy in the midfield where I don't really know how I feel about him yet. Right mid, I still don't know who I want to play there. I've tried John Felix, I've tried Eto, I've tried Dest, I've tried Dos Santos, excuse me, I've tried Mbahu, I've tried Kleber. There's so many different players I've tried there and I still don't know who I want to play there. So I'm going to have to figure it out still. Uh, but I want to get rid of Kyle Walker, but I want to keep Pope. So someone like a real Ferdinand or something potentially coming my way, hopefully, I don't know how, but hopefully um, for me, man, I just think would change everything and, and put me in a good position to kind of just keep pushing uh, to where I want to be. But um, we start, put, we, we, I think we played three games in total on stream, maybe four or something like that. And we go into this, this last game, a full Bundesliga team with Neymar, uh, with Douglas Costa and Rainier kind of closing him off at the left wing spots. And overall, man, the gameplay during this time was a was was much much better i really did enjoy uh playing the game on stream because i've noticed man the last couple weeks when i hop on stream i'm hopping on at the exact same time around 2 p.m and the gameplay is always trash so i'm gonna start playing like friendlies in the beginning and then maybe once we get a little bit later like around 4 p.m ish i'm gonna start playing champs because i just feel like that is just better overall for me and and for for the mood that i'm giving off and the energy and the vibes that i'm giving off for for the people that are watching me but that is going to be it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video drop a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hopefully you guys do enjoy these kind of long videos man this was a pretty long one um with a lot of commentary a lot of gameplay formation custom tactics all that good stuff but that is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next video have a nice day